a personal, right? It's money at, added after tax. So when you withdraw, it will be taxed at the capital gains rate. Withdrawals under a year will be taxed at the short-term capital gains rate. Withdrawals over a year will be taxed at long-term capital gains rate. Then you have the retirement accounts. You got a Roth IRA. IRA stands for individual retirement account, right? That's money added after tax. And withdrawals after 59 and a half are excluded from federal taxes, but exclusion from state tax depends on the state that you reside in. In addition, the money withdrawn before 59 and a half will receive a 10% penalty. So the point is to leave it until you get to 59 and a half. Then you have a traditional IRA. Money is added before taxes. Withdrawals after 59 and a half will be taxed at your income tax bracket. So normally people would use a traditional IRA, right? And add money before taxes. And then when they retire, hopefully they'd be at a lower tax bracket. Um, so then both contributions have limits, right? Every year. So if you're under 50, it's 6,000 a year. If you over 50, it's 7,000 a year. Um, and then with the personal account, the money that you can add to it is unlimited. There's no maximum.